they could do without the fake blood. It's real, Mama. Why did you shoot it? They could turn it on its back, it'll fall asleep. Honey, they're vicious animals. Do you see what it did to that man today? Oh, come on, honey. It's starting to rain. What about when he grows up? I'll give it to a zoo. Pick yourself a cute one, honey. Go ahead. They won't hurt you. They're tender little babies. Come on. Oh, oh there go. No. I'll call him Ramon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Let's go, honey. your house. Why don't you go in and, and go to bed now, because I have to go to bed, too. But when you get up, I'll be going to school, and he'll be taking her. An alligator bus to school. And then he'll be going to school here, and there's all sorts of stuff that you'll like there. There's fish and crickets and insects. You'll love living here, Ramona. It's so fun. Well, it's time to go to bed. The city of Chicago remains in chaos this morning. Hundreds of rioters disrupted the 1968 Democratic Convention, clashing with Mayor Daley's police force late last night. Hundreds were injured and traffic has been halted in Chicago. Turn me down! Where the hell is she at? She's at school at the science fair. Now what are you gonna do with I'm gonna get rid of it. This alligator turns behind a closed hand. And what are you gonna tell Marissa? We tell her we found it dead like we did with a hamster. We'll give him a burial, let's see. All right, guys, sorry. I think we got him. What do you say there, kid? I know just what you're going through. What are you looking at? Uh, the, the patch on the back, the thinning of the front, you know what I mean? Same thing, same thing. You know? Yeah. Okay, what is that? 1590. Had another one. We swiped him out in front of a grocery store. I must have been in there two minutes and bingo. Yeah, that sure goes on a lot around this neighborhood. Did you call the cops? I am the cops. Name was Snaps. It was the one I got grabbed. <laughs> I know just how you feel. They're kind of cute. You, you kind of get attached to them, don't you? Yeah, you sure do. <laughs> uh, duty calls, well. Thank you. Uh, you got any advice on it? Keep your shoes off the floor for a couple of months. Uh, he's teething. Thanks. All right, kid. How do you suppose it got this way? It looks like it was chewed up. Yeah, it's a working man's hand. We'll get some scrapings off these calluses. Anything else? 
Yeah, they found a Lassa Apsa floating in the same sludge tank. What is it, some kind of pooch? Yeah, some kind of dog. They got a line on who it might be. Uh-huh. Yo, homicide in here? Yeah, it's me. Chief wants you outside. He's got a lady who owns a dog. I'll be right there. We got a big toe in the morgue once. Nothing else, just a big toe. Yeah. Never found the rest of them. But we figured out who it was. Had a funeral and everything. It's been a pretty small casket. I checked it out. There's only three of that breed registered in the whole state. Now, a lady called in and reported a loss two months ago. What kind of shapes it in now? The body hadn't decomposed a bit, but all the internal organs had been cut out, clean as a whistle. Lyron's cords cut, too. It looks so much like Kathy. This is Lois. This is Detective Madison. Hi. It looks exactly like Taffy, but it's way too big. You know, she has the same markings, the same color, everything. This fit her two months ago when I lost her. This sweater fit this dog? Uh -huh. Get in. See if you can make some friends. I need a lot more of those for this experiment. How about some cats? I got plenty of cats. Puppies. Now, well, if you got a parrot I'd like to get rid of. Puppies. And we're through with those. You can dump them. Right. Oh, my God. Hey, you know, uh, a cop came by my store this morning. I almost wet my pants. I'm scared, you know. I'm really scared. Maybe I ought to... Maybe I ought to lay low for a while, huh? Gutchell, I need a lot more animals. The old man's breathing down my neck for results. Now get cracking. Right. Puppies. 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 Alan? Yeah. Tell me you're a friend of Edward Norton's? That's right, so what? Well, his time card for last Friday said that he punched out at 3 o'clock, but his wallet and street clothes are still in his locker. Yeah, well, I, I punched out for him. He's OK, isn't he? Where was the last place you saw him? Well, it must have been Friday. We were opening up a section of the old system down by the drug works there.
You know, if this keeps up, I'm gonna open a spare parts shop. This isn't the guy the arm came from. How can you tell? This guy cut his nails square. Yeah. The other one rounded them off. What is he wearing on his feet? Wearing boots? No, he's wearing uh, alligator wingtips with lifts in them. That's your regulation sewer gear. You now we got one here, and you know, Prince it came up with something very interesting in his sock. What? Kitty litter. The guy must have been a cat fanatic. Yes, we do quite a bit of in vivo research. Do you ever do business with a pet store owner named Gutchell? Uh, all of our subjects are either bred here or we purchase them from the city town. What happens when you run out of test animals? We have to suspend research. That does happen. You're a hormone guy, right? Yes. Just hypothetically, is it possible for a mature dog to double its size in, say, two months period? No, not at the present time. Look, Detective, I'd like to be more help to you, but um, like I said, when we're done with the subjects, they're taken back to the pound for cremation. It's all very carefully regulated by the Humane Society. Is it possible for one of these dogs to uh, get loose and wind up in the sewer system? No. No way. Very quiet. Pardon? So your test animals are very quiet. Oh, yes. Well, we cut the larynx when they first come in. It uh, helps keep the noise level down. There it does. Stop tap dancing around it, son. <laughs> you just got caught with your pants there. That's all. Well, we're very close to that synthetic hormone, sir, and I thought that we should go ahead yes. and... Yes. What did the police really have on you? Well, Gutcher was paid out of the slush fund, so there's no way he can be tied to the company. Uh, I've disposed of any animals that could be traceable. Uh, it's just this guy, Madison, that was yes, here. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I'll put in the, in the fix. Pardon? Well, it's not the police we have to worry about. Or it's those damn me out of journalists. It's a trouble. They're out to ruin our public image. Yes, sir. Yes, now, will you get on back to your chemistry set? It, and, and I'll take care of everything. We'll put in the fix. But don't worry about a thing. Go on, go on. Thank you, sir. Yes. Don't talk to any reporters. Yes, sir. I don't know why I'm supposed to talk to them. Because it's your case. You gotta face the music. Jesus, don't you want a razor? I was in a hurry this morning. In a hurry? For Christ's sake, you are a half hour late. I think reporters are assholes. You just watch your language in there. Edward Norton worked for the sanitation department for 25 years. Have you identified the other victim? And what do you know about him? Luke Gutchell, he operated a pet store. And Gutchell, didn't he have a criminal record? No comment. A detective, have, is there any the evidence to link the, the two murders? First of all, we don't know that it was a murder. Second of all, that would be evidence. I wouldn't be able to comment on it. Is what? there anything you can comment on? Next question. How could what the bodies have been found in the sewer system? system? Say it again, please. How could the bodies have found their way into the sewer system? In the city, we use a combination sewage and drainage system. Therefore, the bodies could have found their way into the system at any point. Can you give us a cause of death in each case? The bodies were dismembered. We're waiting on the coroner's report. Can you what tell us you? at least if they were similar? The bodies were dismembered. Are you withholding information? No comment. Do you think there might be a Jack the Ripper type killer operating in the city? It's a little too early to speculate on that kind of... Well, what do you think the motive might have been in these slayings? Raise newspaper circulation. Look, I can't do this. As you can see, we have very little information at the moment. Now, if you'll excuse us, Detective Madison and I have worked... Officer Madison, aren't you the same David Madison who lost his partner in the Hotel Baldwin incident in St. Louis? Yeah. I believe in that case, your partner was stabbed to death, wasn't he? 
He was shot. That's right. I'm sorry. We will keep you posted. Thank you. Yeah, let me break that stolen pet and give something to chew on. Look terrible, David. When you're representing the department, you Look should take a time I out. I had a tough night last night. I get one of those bad dreams. Didn't give me much sleep. I didn't shave this morning, so give me a break. David, you can't let that Baldwin Hotel thing throw you. Now, that was five years ago, and nobody blames you. Yeah, tell that to the newspaper snakes. I need somebody to check out a sewer with me. Shamsky? I got a court appearance today. Uh-huh. Meyer? Vanola? We're on Mark at Hill today. Don't think the chief would fool us. Sloan, what are you doing? Paperwork. What is it, my breath? Shoot fingers or something. I need somebody. I'll go. You're it. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need some boots or something. I just uh, shine my shoes and I don't wanna get them wet. You bet. You bet. You hit some methane pockets. These will help you. Righto. Who cut your hair, Madison? I do, mostly. Why? You ought to see a hairstylist. They let your hair grow down and whip it across. Nobody will be able to see it. Sir? Yeah? I killed a man in the store. Madison. Well, if you give us a second, I'll take you down to Sergeant Reynolds. He'll take your confession. No, sir, I didn't come to confess. I came to kill the rest of you. I see. How do you intend to do that? I'm wired to explode. You too. Don't move. Your time is running out. I, 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 I cut him up with my mat knife on the picture framer. Why would you do it, son? They told me to. Who told you? Them. On the radio. Madison? He's bluffing. Take him to the left. Call it, Kelly. Don't move. I, I'll kill us all. You told me to. On the radio. Oh, on the radio. Can't take your finger away from that button, please. Kelly. They told me to, the voices. Don't you see the voices? Hey, buddy. The voices. Buddy, you want to know the truth? I used to be a left-hander, there may be a right-hander. I wanted to be a priest, they made me into a cop. You want to blow the joint up? I don't care what you do. I stopped wanting to be a cop about last week. I had to... even blink. Okay, what do I say? Don't do anything yet. Look on the side. It's not on this side. It's got to be a little button. It's got to be a... right near the counter. Got 11 seconds more. Okay, all right. Nine seconds more. Wait. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Now, don't anybody move. Hold them real tight. I got them. All right, let's see what we got here. It's a radio. Uh, <sighs> Next time, try Lawrence Wilk. Hey, Sloan, with all the paperwork, come here and book this guy. OK. Surprise. 
These mats aren't complete. Some of these tunnels date back to 1890. Loose track. There you go. As long as we get home before supper. I know a guy like you in St. Louis, Wild Billy used to call him. Just kick a door in and see what happened. We were down by the ballpark one time. You, you know St. Louis? Kelly? Kelly? Someone's been here recently. Yeah. I think we ought to come back here with a crew and really look this joint over.
No. There you are. How'd I get here? Well, you just popped out of a manhole at Campbell Street and started yelling alligator. Kelly. Hey, 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 you are not to get Stay out of here. Stay What happened to Kelly? Did you find him? Nothing. Not a sign of you, you know what, either. Now, look, stay a couple of days. Just take it easy. What the hell are you talking about? We gotta get back down there. You need some rest, David. Are you nuts? You think I'm gonna lay in this bed while the kid I sent down in the sewer is unaccounted for? Look, Dr. Lee has got to see him. Who's this Dr. Lee? He's a psychiatrist. He just wants to give you some tests. I'll give you some tests. You're gonna give yourself you a headache. Nuts That's yourself. What, what the hell's the matter with you guys? Hi. How you feeling? What happened? You lose your paper route? What's the matter with you? Hey, I'm just trying to write a story. I'll invent something. You know how to do that. Here, you lost another partner. You got no comment on that. You know, that's getting to be a habit with you. I pulled out the files on the Baldwin Hotel shooting. Hey, Ken, lay off. I'll lay off. You tell me what happened in the sewer yesterday. No comment. Chief, I'm not asking you. I'm asking Officer Madison. And that's exactly what we're going to find out, isn't it, Chief? Right. The largest one ever recorded was around 15 feet. But in a sewer, it's not possible. Even in a zoo, they don't grow full size. It was bigger than that. Excuse me. It was huge. Now, tell me something, Miss. Uh, are these uh, your snakes? No, they belong to the university. I have a couple of non-poisonous species at home, though. It was bigger than 15 feet. An alligator half that size would starve in a week. There's no sunlight. There are toxic fluids and gases. Not to mention the question of how it got there in the first place. You're looking at the one who saw it. And it was big. You said it was dark. Now, perhaps you're mistaken. OK. Thanks very much for your help. Can I borrow this book? You can have it. Excuse me. Uh, Dr. Kendall, could there be another animal down there that could possibly be this size? Nothing I know of. I'm sorry. Thank you very much. I thought she'd be some kind of help. Uh, she's the leading authority. Now, it was worth a try. Because a kid, she lives with snakes. What the hell are you talking about? Look, I didn't say she was normal. I said she had the word on alligators. Now, look, why don't you give it up, Dave? It's one of your nightmares. Nightmare your ass. There's something down there. Now, it'll take a lot of guys, but we'll flush them out. The only thing you're going to take is a leave of absence. Here, read it in a week. Our friend Kemp has got the hots for you. City detective loses partner again. Mysterious circumstances surround the abrupt disappearance in a city sewer of police patrolman Jim Kelly, partner of Detective David Madison, while on an official investigation. No such mystery surrounds the death of Jerry Randolph of the St. Louis Metropolitan Police, who was paired with Madison on the fatal night of March 21st, 1975. Witnesses report that Detective Madison's inaction enabled the three to escape, wounding Randolph in the process. A board of inquiry hearing investigating the officer's death made no finding against Madison. In the more recent disappearance... Hey, guys. Nice. More recent disappearance. City officials have been unwilling to make any comment. This reporter, for one, is not satisfied. Well, what kind of dreams? Well, he was out on meds most of the time that he was here. What are meds? Medication. Mm. He kept coming up with some garbage about alligators in the sewers. Alligators in the sewers? Yeah.
Nice, wonderful place. Marissa Kendall. Hello? No, I, I was awake. Wait, wait a minute, slow down. Kemp? No. Yeah, I'll be right there. Here's his camera. It got caught in a grate by Tank 5. Sure. And no sign of Kemp. The sanitation people, they won't go in any further. The rumor is starting to spread. I guess you get them while they're hot. You got anything good, Sparks? <laughs> you won't believe it. It's a rat. No, no, not that, not that. Here, look. Huh? Huh? Holy huh? shit. What do you think, Chief? You believe me now? Look at the snake lady to take a look. It's a herpetologist. Imagine, clicking away with your camera while that's coming at you. Well, he'll make the front page anyway. That's all he really wanted. Thomas Kemp, the popular columnist for the National Probe magazine, is missing and presumed dead. His camera, the only clue to his disappearance, was fished out of a filtration tank at the city sewage works late last night. The film inside the camera was salvaged. What appeared to be an abnormally large alligator, or similar reptile, who is now believed to be responsible for at least four deaths. But as mayor, I tell you that no effort and no expense will be spared by this... Professor, herpetologist, author, and probably the leading authority here in the Midwest on reptile and amphibian life, as well as a native of our own city. Dr. Kendall, what animal is it? It's an alligator. Couldn't it be a... There's no question. It's definitely an alligator. I see. Well, how large do you think it is from the photographs you've seen? If it's been living in a sewer, it couldn't be very large. Even under ideal circumstances, in a zoo, for example, they don't go nearly as large as they would in their natural habitat. This makes it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Where are you?
that you, Bo? This is Frank. Yeah. We've got teams moving in from every possible entry point, pushing through, converging in these three main channels, such that there is only one possible exit, and that is here. What if he doesn't run? Don't worry. It will. Oh, Dr. Kendall. If you don't corner it, you'll be fine. You take good medicines. Who invited her? David, we don't know how this thing is going to react. Now, maybe she can help us. All units are in position now. Thank you. Patch me in, please. This is Madison. Yeah, this is Rooney. We're all ready. I didn't believe you. And I'm sorry. OK, Dave, this is Gary. We're all Don't lose any sleepover. All right, guys, this is Madison. Commence operation. Command center, this is unit one. We're pushing off. Unit two, pushing off. This is unit three, pushing off. Make a southwest and then a southerly turn. This is Clark. No, I had one once when I was little. An alligator. I just monitored to get it to call. My father found it dead one day, though, so I didn't get to keep it very long. His name was Ramon. It's approximately a quarter of a mile south of the... Actually, they're not very good pets. Snakes are a lot better. Uh, a weird kid, huh? Really. Not a kid. Everybody younger than me is a kid. I'm really sorry about your friend. My map shows an intersection coming in from Must have been a terrible thing to see. They'll be flushing him out in five minutes. Yeah, they're still in there. Where's he gonna go? Uh, where did he come from? That's what I'd like to know. Oh, Mayor, this is uh, David Madison. He's heading up the operation. figure out what we're gonna hand the press on this one. They missed it, Chief. I don't know how, but it's still in there. Come on, David, let's get the hell out of here.
Chief Clark, could you tell us what happened? Nothing, nothing to say. Press conference in the morning. Expended a lot of energy and to look for a place with water to rest. That's one. We got rivers, we got canals, and we got that lake over there. The safety of the public is my job. Well, you've got no job unless I get reelected. Now, look, this could generate a lot of good publicity, and I can't have your people fumble the ball for us. That's all. Give this lady an idea of how big he was. Just a guess. Is it as big as he is? You know an Eldorado? Car. Because. No, a refrigerator. Of course a car. Wait a minute. You're saying it was as big as a car? Yeah. Of course you gotta have the tail. Of course. Yeah. According to this, it should be 30 to 40 feet long. But it is an alligator. David! This is Colonel Brock. Hey, what the hell is that? Well, we're setting off charges to see if we can bring them up. 
A wild animal, not a submarine. I've flown in Colonel Brock to take charge of the operation. Take charge? Yeah, well, he's hunted big game animals all over the world. It's a new ball game, Dave. What the hell do you expect me to do? You just stay out from under my feet. Start right now, guys. Now, look, Madison. You know, it's not his fault the alligator got loose. Uh, who is this pretty girl? Oh, Colonel Brock, this is Dr. Uh, Kendall. She's oh, the, uh... Yes, the uh, lizard lady. Well, now you can go back to your books. You'd better take all the help you can get. You know, I've seen what this animal can do. Well, if I couldn't get myself killed chasing it, what fun would it be? Get your Alexander Superman here. Hey, Alexander Superman. Alexander Superman. How about you, buddy? And Alexander for you. Take one home to the kitty. Alexander, Alexander there. Hey, how about yeah, Alexander? Alexander. Alligators here. Alligators here. Alligators here. Come and get your alligators. How about you, pal? We'll take a bite out of your pocket. Aren't you going to get one, pal? Hey, see him shake. See him wiggle. Take him home. Make you giggle. Get him. Get alligators. Get him, pal. Get him. Hey, sport. You want to see something? It's yours for 20. Get three, get a couple. Three, get the kids. Feed them whatever's left on the table, throw some water on it. Double sauce. Ross Davis. Yeah, what's up? Bust this guy. Four. Four. Beta Creek. Possession of an endangered species, anything you like. This is an attack on the free enterprise system. Communist. Hi, are we live on this thing? I believe so. Oh, nice. You're very pretty. But uh, we're here to talk about alligators. Well, look, alligators respond to sound. They talk to each other, call each other. Listen. What's that? That's the distress call of a young gator that's still with his mother. Do they have a love call? Your alligator is a very romantic creature. It gets the itch, come spring, and it'll give up with a sound, something like this. <laughs> and that will attract another alligator? Well, I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm counting on it. I work too, you know. I mean, I'm way behind on the classwork. I still have two experiments I have to get My done. My dear young woman, it is still out there. They'll find it, and your great white hunter will shoot it, and that'll be the end of it. And you're not even curious how it got to be that size? I'll be there at the autopsy. Look, there's a couple of things I'm trying to put together. You're the only one I know who can tell me whether the pieces fit. If the thing works out, I'll buy you an iguana or something. One of them will look pretty. That'd be great. Is this a section from the pituitary of your Lhasa Apso. Mm. The dark blue globules uh, indicate that it's been bombarded with some sort of hormone derivative. What'll that do? Well, in some cases, it'll make little dogs into big dogs. I'd put my money on somatropin, but if they've been throwing test animals down the sewer for years, there's no telling what combination our friend's been exposed to. Maybe he'll die of cancer. Don't step in it. The latest sighting was in the Marquette Hill section of the city, where the animal is believed to be still at large. Residents are warned to stay off the streets and are asked to report any of the sightings of the alligator immediately.
And you worked with progesterone as well? Sure, we tested them all. What kind of a cow is this? It's a calf. Mm -hmm. Big for a calf. Tech that the world has a food shortage problem. We're trying to do something about that. Mm -hmm. Yes, I understand you manufactured a synthetic form of testosterone. Yes, we had some success with that. Why didn't you market it? Several contraindications. The main one being that it tended to hyperexcite the organism's metabolic rate. What's that in plain English? It gave them an insatiable appetite. Look, detective, I've got a lot of work to do. If you got any more questions? Yeah. What would Slade Pharmaceutical pay for a hot Lhasa Apso? Mayor, a Slade here. We got a little problem here at the lab that you could be some help with. Chief. Chief. I got the goods on the alligator. David. The big guy over at Slade's, our dear mayor's buddy, is up to his eyeballs in it. I'll need your shield, David. You're off the force. What are you talking about? You pushed too far. You didn't really expect me to work under that guy Brock, did you? It's out of my hands. Homicide? I need more. I got canned. Apparently, we stepped on all the wrong toes. Well, can they do that? Sure they can do that. It's their town. They can do anything they want. Well, how do you feel? I was always worried they were going to can me anyway. Now that it happened, phew, I feel wonderful. And what are you going to do? Go out there, I'm going to find that alligator, and I'm going to kick his ass. When do we start? Do you ever have any boyfriends? There was Stuart. President of the Science Club. Found himself counted. In the ninth grade. And then, of course, there was Chester. He was into reptiles like I was. Sounds cozy. Yeah, it was all right. So they started dissecting me. Yeah, here we are. This place? I know. Jesus, I haven't been in this place since I first started with the department. You know. All right, this is where we're going to split up and take a look. What the hell are we looking for? Anything looks like it doesn't belong here. Uh, evidence of alligator nesting. Like things like shoes, handbags, luggage. Right. try to come back here. If it can get back in the system, I think it'll sure try. Well, that settles it for me. I, I'm taking my vacation till this thing's over with. At least in Florida, they keep them in the swamps where they belong. Uh, Mr. Slade, I'd have to go to the city council for a reward. No, 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 let's stop fussing, but I'll, I'll put up the money. I'll put up the money. Lad, listen, the wedding is tomorrow. I want you to pick up all this silver. 
all the tables, put them back the way it should be later. Look, that's very generous uh, of you, Mr. Slade. Mayor, listen. Yes. We have got four products. Four products, yeah. pending with the Food and Drug Administration uh -huh. right now. Four yeah. products. And that's a, that's a lot of politics involved. Oh, I see. And if they traced it back to the company. You mean if they traced it back to us? Yeah. Well, you'd be out of a job for one thing. Uh, Arthur. <laughs> Mayor Ledoux. Uh, uh, my future son-in-law, uh, Arthur Hill. Oh, how do you do? Uh, nice to meet you. Arthur is my number one boy. Oh. My number one boy. Oh. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dinner time. Oh, yes, kiddo, yes. Can I get rid of this jacket, someone? Sure, drop it right, right there. Yeah. This is Snaps. Snaps. How do you do? Marissa. Okay, kid, all right. You I, hungry? Can I use your phone? Yeah, right here. Thank you. What do you think, kid? Hungry? A little bit of corn, beef hash. Hello. Hello, Mom. I'm going to be late tonight. Here you go. That's it. Tonight's a school night. Now, what about your homework? Mom, I'm the teacher. It was my mother. first met you, I thought you were one of those real tight asses. You did. Well, you're wrong, weren't you? When I first met you, I thought you were someone whose apartment would look just like this. Well, you're quite right. One of these days, I'm going to shovel it out. However, Marissa, look, at me. we're going to go to dinner now, right? Right. And all the while, I'm going to be wondering whether or not you're going to come back and spend the night with me. It's not exactly a, an answer. See, if I have to eat food and I'm worried about yes or no, it sort of hyper-excites my metabolic rate. Oh. Can I take this as a definitive yes? Yes. It's so down so... You guys know the neighborhood. Every expedition needs its bearers, native guides. What's in it for us? Ten dollars a day, a piece. Oh, riot! <laughs> I get twenty. <laughs> the local chieftain. <laughs> I was looking in the guest book, checking the license plate numbers. This guy comes up behind me, sticks this thing in the back of my neck, says he's going to blow my brains out. Took my gun, gave it to somebody else who was hiding. Made me lay on the desk face down. I heard yelling upstairs and shots. The guy behind me ran, I couldn't move. It was like my legs were gone. When I finally turned around, Jerry was coming down the stairs. He was dying. He had a gun on you. He had a roll of pennies he took out of the cash box. The only gun they had was mine, the one I shot Jerry with. How could you know? I froze. There's a heavy penalty in this life of fear. You can't blame yourself for surviving. What are you doing? Look, I'm fighting male pattern baldness. I'm a little sensitive on this subject, and I hope you don't mention it again. Let's see. 
call it Booger Alley. They said they heard heavy breathing. Where's it lead to? Let's out by the railroad track. Give me my rifle. We better go and look around. Who is we? The bearers followed the hunter into the lair. They back him up. <laughs> is that right? Not in this jungle, mister. We'll see you on the other side. No backbone? Must be the environment. Amen. Oh, what the fuck? Y'all wait for me here, man. studied history and psychology. When I got done, I decided I was going to be a cop. What I always wanted to be, I became a cop. Thank you. You know what uh, Freud says about that? What's he say? He said the police want to punish society for their own illicit desires. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This guy never did the kamikaze shift in East St. Louis. <laughs> Probably not. Speaking of illicit desires. Yeah. Hi, Madison. Hey, pretty Ash, how you doing? Thought you guys would be out beating the bushes for Jungle Jim. No, you just scraped him up over at Marquette Hill. What? Brock? Wasn't much of him left. Pulling a double ship, looking for that damned animal. Tough break about the job, Madison. Yeah. Jesus. It's his own fault. I understand how you must feel. Don't understand me so quick.
Charlie. leads to an early grave. <laughs> Worked just the opposite for him, though. God rest his soul. Do you know I have an evil eye? Bet you can't tell which one it is. Is it this one? Or is it this one? <laughs> Did you like that? What's your name? Madeline. Can I give you a cup of coffee? No, I got some. You really make yourself at home, don't you? Good morning, David. Davey. Hi. Hi. I came to apologize. What for? You name it, I apologize for it. Don't forget tonight's a school night, Marissa. You, uh, want to see my rock collection? Yeah, well, what do you need me for? What does anybody need anybody for? You're the country's leading herpetologist. You have a wonderful mind, a doctor degree, and beautiful tits. I find this all fairly confusing. There's nothing to be confused about. I know I'm a pain in the ass sometimes, but anything worth having is going to be trouble. That is, unless you want to go live with the turtles. Are you going to come with me? Well, we'll see. Well, we'll see. The sightings indicate he's been moving east. If he continues in that direction, he's going to hit the canal. If we wait downstream, He's gonna come right to us. I know what happens. Well, I could bring my mother. She could talk him to death. No, I don't want to talk to Madison. Things are crazy enough as they are. Look, just let me know when the state troopers are ready. Damn it! He's not hiding in the bushes. All right, I see we've got a lock in the canal here about a mile above the river. That's maybe two miles from where we are right now. Right. But uh, if the lock's closed, he's going to leave the river. What's he going to do when he gets out? I guess that depends on what's in his way. Holy shit. That's him off the port. Down the canal. 
Okay, now get me whatever's available and get it up to Shady Point by the Slade Mansion. We're working from there. Nothing. Listen, did you see which way it went? We walked out down there about 200 yards. Which side? This side. Let's go. You've been here before? You bet. Headed straight for Slade Mansion. When I was a kid a long time ago, yeah. I used to go in there back 40 there, and, I, and I, I'd cut down one of those green hickories. Hickory? And, I, I would soak it in water two, three weeks, four weeks at a time. Now you go out, and then you build yourself a great big, deep bit of charcoal. Like charcoal. That. And, and, and then you take your, your hickory. You know. Put your hickory loose seal right on top. Not too much of it, or you drown out your fire. Oh. And then that aroma, that aroma starts. You can smell it. Oh. Beautiful. I mean, it just permeated that. That's really lovely. <laughs> I see your invitations. Oh, man, the alligator's coming. You've got to let us in. Alligator? I got a magician and a three-piece orchestra. Open it. Hurry up. I'll call the cops. Great. Call them. Exactly where to find it. David! Hey, David! I need your help! David! All right, 
say I give myself two minutes on the timer. Let the chief know where I'm coming up and make sure that manhole is clear. You got it.
You'll live. You'll live. Any sign of him? Only pieces. Yeah, you believe me now. No dream. When did I ever doubt you? I think I'm gonna lock you up with her mother. How about that? <laughs> her mother? Think your mother would go for something like that? Yeah, she might. She goes for that, uh, increasingly high forehead look. I think it runs in the family. Yeah. We got him. We sure did. 